It's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z where knowledge is power. And if you are not outside getting some of this vitamin D, soaking it into your S-K-I-N, you have a problem. I tell you, it is a magnificent day today. And if this is your first time watching the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, I ask that you share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, anyone that you come into contact with. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation. And today's conversation just happens to be about Islam. And why Islam? Because a brother from the nation of Islam approached me. Obviously, he didn't know who I was. <laughs> but needless to say, after we got to talking, the brother like, why don't you like come back to the nation of Islam? Because I told him that Islam, let me tell you something. Did you know that Islam did not start or get its sex together until 1870? Did you know that Islam was not a religion until 1870? In fact, Islam uh, cannot happen without the Quran, and the Quran cannot be without Islam, right? But in 1870, Islam came about, and that Quran was written by Jews, historical scholars that were Jews, historical philosophers that were Jews. And Islam was not born until 1870. It was actually accepted by the Arab world in 1919. But you want to tell me historically that Islam was here in 611 AD, the 7th century, when in reality it never was. It never was. Think about that. Christianity, let me tell you something. Christianity is the oldest religion on the planet. I'm going to say that again. Christianity is the oldest religion on the planet. Not to say that I agree with Christianity. No, I don't agree with any religion. I'm going to say that again. I do not agree nor do I prescribe, prescribe to any religion because religion sucks your life. Religion limits your thinking. I'm going to say that again. Religion limits your thinking. If you was to throw your Bible, your Quran, your Torah into the garbage can right now, what's left? You. You came before that. You were not born with the Bible or Quran or a Torah strapped to your ass, as in the words of General Seti. You was not. Islam was not born until 1870s when they came up with it. And in 1919, that's when the birth of Islam actually began because the Arab people accepted Islam. The historical story that they give you, talking about Islam came about in 611, it never happened in 611. Not historically. Not historically. It didn't come around to 1870. Christianity came around in 1475. I'm going to say that again. Christianity did not come around until 1475. Okay? And the first school, the first school, the first birth of Christianity, the first church of Christianity, I'm going to say that again. The first church of Christianity was the Hagia of Sophia. You have Christians out there who are talking about that they Christians, they can't even tell you the first Christian church. They can't tell you who built it. They can't tell you who was in play when it was built. They can't even tell you how it even came about. So all of my Christian brothers and sisters out there who have all of these questions for me, all of my Muslim brothers and sisters that's out there who have all of these questions for me, I'm answering them for you. Just as with Judaism, Judaism, the Jews made Christianity, uh, 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 Judaism, and Islam. I'm going to say that again. The Jews made Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. I did a story over like 18 months ago on the Mo Show Chicago. Go there to the Mo Show Chicago and you will see me break down Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. But I think I'm doing a better job today. I'm going to say that again. I think I'm doing a better job today 
with the information that I'm giving you. All of my Christian brothers and sisters that step to me, all of my Muslim brothers and sisters that step to me, all of my Hebrew brothers and sisters that step to me, I'm going to tell you something. Your religion is non-effective. In fact about it, your God, your Allah, your Jehovah, your Yahweh, uh, your Jesus Christ, okay, Serapis, which is a different story, but needless to say that man made God. God did not make man. I'm going to say that again. Man made God and God did not make man. Whoo! In fact about it, God from uh, 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 Sister Williams, which is Walter Williams' wife, which is the master teacher's Walter Williams' wife, you know what she said? She said that God is an abstract figure that needs human spirituality to exist. I'm going to say that again. Master, we master teacher Walter Williams' wife said that God, from her standpoint, is an abstract figure that needs human spirituality to exist. Bow! Unbelievable! When you have religion in your heart and in your soul, you limit your thinking. When you have religion in your heart and your soul, you kill yourself. When you have religion in your heart and your soul, you cheat yourself. Why do you do all of the three above? Because you give your power away. You give your power away to an unknown source called Serapis that don't even care about you. Now, for those of you who say, well, I don't represent Serapis. I don't represent that fake Jesus. Yes, you do, because your religion still came from the Jews. Now, if you really want to know about the Jews, I want you to go to my video which is entitled Hitler and the Jews, which is on the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z here on YouTube. If you have not checked that video out, I highly encourage that you check that video out. Hitler and the Jews on M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, this channel right here. Yeah. All day long, you have these uh, Christian preachers on TV. Anybody see them? Sunday morning, late at night, right? And they're telling you about Jesus. They represent Jesus. 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 In Spanish. J-E-S-U-S. -S. If Jesus was the most important name on this earth, you would not have it in correlation with Jesus. I'm just saying. Does anybody have God in connection with anybody else? I don't think so. But anyway, Serapis is who the Christians work with. The Jews worship Satan. Islamic people worship Satan. Christian people worship Satan. They worship Satan. If you all have not done any research for yourself, I highly advise that you do some research for yourself. In fact about it, when you go down to the video, Hitler and the Jews, you will see why Hitler exterminated the Jews, or at least trying to. I'm just saying, all of your religion is garbage. It's garbage, G-A-R-B-A-G-E, garbage. Not to mention it's a seven letter word, the seven represents God. Garbage! Man made God, God did not make man. I'm going to say that again. Man made God and God did not make man. Put that in your Rolodex and smoke it. It's your brother, the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, where knowledge is power. Remember, it is your third eye that makes you shine like jewelry. And if you haven't done so already, press that subscribe button. Peace out.